my name's Eddie Winners. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Coup d'etat. We've got a very special guest on the line, Miss Susan Council. Miss Susan, how are you? I'm fabulous, Eddie. How are you? I'm doing sensational. Thank you so much for being on the program. We, uh, we got you a little bit of applause. There it is. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, and we got Tom, Thank you. Tommy Arnold here with me, and uh, we we are so excited that you you had a few a few minutes to take out of the out of your day to share with us this morning. Uh, how, how are you doing in in, in 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 New Orleans, Louisiana? We're doing fabulous in New Orleans, Louisiana. We just had a little bit of a cold snap, so the entire city is completely freaked out. But other than that, um, everything is uh, that and the Saints losing. Um, other Oof. than that, we're doing okay. We're limping along. That's that's <laughs> not bad. It can't be any worse than the uh, the, the the Oakland Raiders. Uh, so. Okay, great. Well, I'll, I'll keep that in my mind because <laughs> they can't win. That, uh, but but nonetheless, moving forward, you had a you had a uh, a, a really a, a crazy show on Saturday. Uh, that uh, we were all uh, excited about. I read about on the internet. You've you've got a, a series of shows that you've done uh, over the last course of several years. Uh, the the covered in vinyl. How was that show on Saturday? The show on Saturday for covered in vinyl was amazing. We had our dear friend Bill Kirchen from uh, the Commander Cody uh, group. Yes. Um, he came down and he did. We um, covered in vinyl is where we cover a classic vinyl record. Um, from top to bottom, and um, he came in and we did Highway 61 Revisited. Wow. And it was awesome, 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 awesome. We had a packed crowd, everybody had a great time, and uh, we've been doing those for about almost uh, 10 years, or around there, around 10 years. Wow. I think uh, we're up to something like 65, uh, 65 albums. It's crazy. Is that, is 65 wow. records. Wow, that yeah. is that is crazy. Is there any that you've tried to do that you were like, once you got into it, you're like, oh, we can't do this. Like, there's too much. I think like, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Wait, did we do Goodbye Yellow Brick Road? Oh, well, that's the one that we haven't done. See, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yes, we did do it. Yeah, that and Sergeant Pepper was a little lofty. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but, yes. Yeah, that would be that would be a huge. But you, but you know, hi Tommy. Hi. Hi. We had, um, you know, we 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 don't necessarily reenact the entire album, but we we get close. I mean, Sergeant Pepper, we had horns, we had the whole schlemiel. Wow. Um, David Bowie was was a bit of a challenge. Oh yes, yeah. always is. Did, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun. We love doing it, and it's very popular um, here in town. And and so yeah, we had a great time though. Bill Curtin's amazing. He's he's Mr. Hot Rod Lincoln. Wow, that you know. How long have you been? You've been in uh, in in Louisiana. How you've been there for years now? Yeah, I am looking at twenty two years here in New Orleans. Holy cow! I was only I know I was supposed to live. Uh, we were, I agreed to move here for two years. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> That's good. That's I, what he, <laughs> I've made those some kind of arrangements too. It's, yes. It's just. Wow. That that is great. Uh, yeah, and and so you you've you've been there making music. You uh originally from New Newport, Rhode Island and uh were you, were you you were in Los Angeles for a while obviously doing the uh the the Cow Sills thing and uh what was the decision to go out to uh to, to New Orleans? Well, you know, like you said, like we the Cow Sills moved from uh, Newport to New York to LA and I lived there for way too long. And um, I met a, a group of, uh, of, of, of dudes who had a band, and the, most of them were from New Orleans, and uh, it was called the Continental Drifters. And right. we, I joined up with them, me and my girlfriend, Vicki Peterson. We hopped on board that train, and the guys that founded the band were originally from New Orleans, and they wanted to move back home, and so we all loaded up the truck and... <laughs> And moved to uh, New Orleans wow. in 1993, I think. Wow, that's I mean, crazy. Yeah, that's and, and, you know, and I, I we were playing. We've been playing uh, some of your tracks uh, throughout the morning, and uh, there's a great story. The, the 1977, um, you recorded a record by Rodriguez, and, mm, and yes, that, <laughs> it is. I, I got to be honest. I mean, like a lot of people around the world, they didn't know about Rodriguez until the movie came out in 2012. Yep. Right. And, and there you are in 1977 recording uh, one of his tracks. Can I ask you, how did how did that even get uh, get created? Yeah, you can ask that, and that's pretty crazy. And, uh, I mean, that, talk about a full circle and, and just 
you know, the connectedness of the universe. Because, um, so 1977, I was, I don't know, 16 or 17 or something, and I'd been recently retired at 12 from the Cowfields right. for the first time. And uh, so, uh, you know, I didn't know how to do anything but make records, so I, I told my mom if I could quit school, I'd go get a record deal, and she said, okay, wow. that's the short story. That's the short version of that. It right. didn't quite go like that. And so uh, I had a single deal with Warner Brothers, and, uh, you know, I, had, I didn't write songs. I didn't play an instrument. I didn't know who I was musically, really. I just knew I could sing. And so I had a producer, and they would, they would bring me songs. You know, we'd have these meetings, and they'd sit down and go, all right, here's five songs from writers in town, you know, or wherever. Right. And I would randomly pick songs that I liked. And one of the songs was a song called I Think of You. And it was just, and that's, that's how it was at that point, right? It's, okay, I like that song. So, okay, so we, we picked that song. I record it. You know, <clears throat> nothing much came of that particular version of my career. It right. kept me going, though. I don't know. And so fast forward <laughs> to a couple of years ago, <clears throat> For me, anyway. Right. And I was here in Louisiana at my house, and my sister-in-law, Vicki Peterson, calls me up and goes, hey, have you seen that that documentary on that Sugar Man dude? And I was like, you know, I haven't seen it, but I heard about it, and it's a pretty crazy story, and it's wonderful and good for him. And right. She's like, she, and she said, but look, I'm listening, I'm watching this TV show, and, and I'm hearing the song. Do you know that you recorded his song? And I was like, what? And she said, yeah, the I Think of You was written by this dude. So... So then he comes to town, and so then we go visit it. We go see him at the Patinas, and uh, he was completely freaked out that I was there. I didn't think he'd know me from a hole in the wall. Right, And wow. then he went on to ask me to play for him at the Barclays Center. I opened up, Russ and I did, for uh, Rodriguez to, you know, 7,000 people. It was pretty cool. Holy cow. Beautiful. That, <laughs> that, yeah. that, Isn't that that's crazy? A, that's an incredible story. Yeah, that is it really was. It, it was beautiful. I, he's a great guy. He, he really is, and, and just the, the songwriting ability, a, a voice, especially at his age, I mean, it's just... Uh, yeah. my mind bending it's just it's just absolutely crazy and it, yeah and he was so great because you know uh you know he heard my recent music and he was like why are you know why don't people know about you and i'm like well why didn't they know about you right yeah. <laughs> and so you know he was kind of paying it forward by put, letting me uh, he was so charming and he was like i guess i'm the only person who had ever covered any of his music back in the day wow before now right so he it was just awesome he's i, I mean i just love stuff like that you it, know a, a, any plans to uh to do any of uh other rodriguez songs you know what maybe so oh, and I, certainly I, that's a, you know i have a, i'm working on another writing another record my next uh solo endeavor so yeah, I have actually thought about that. Why not, right? Well, exactly. Maybe Beautiful I'm songs. Sing with me. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and, yeah. oh that'd I'd, be. I'd buy that duet. I. Sure. I. Yes. Yeah, I would. Be. I would buy that as well. <laughs> I would download. Yeah. Le yeah, right. I would legally download that. I was going to say or bootleg it. I mean, why not? Uh, we could do that as well. I, you know, I, I was going to ask you, you, you guys. Uh, the, when I say you guys, the Cowsills, the family. Yes. You. Uh, there was a, a documentary uh, recently. I guess in the last couple of years. That came out, uh, I guess, in 2011 or 12, or somewhere around there, um, that kind of told some of the story uh, of, of, of your, your lives growing up. Uh, how, how did you feel about that film when it came out? Um, I was very happy. You know, we were a very big part of making that documentary. It took about 10 years. Is that right? Because we wow. had to hi hire and fire a lot of people. Um, to keep it from being too sensational and too dark, because right. um, as you saw, there was lots of elements to it that that, that are uh, in one's life and certainly in ours. And uh, it, it took a lot to create a proper balance because you know everything isn't all one thing. Right. You know, it's not all great and it's not all horrible. Um, so the, the the finished uh, product we're very proud of, and we worked super hard on it. It was, um, needless to say, a um, emotional journey. Sure. Um, but uh, I think it came out pretty good, and Showtime evidently does because it's been running on their network for two years. Wow, <laughs> it was great. Well, I liked what I liked about it was that it showed that you know it, it told the story about the tension that that existed when you know you guys are doing that at Sullivan Show, and then um, you know with your older brother, and then how everything kind of, you guys kind of went your separate ways. And then 
when it when you guys came back together and you guys were going to sing the national anthem like it showed that there was like there was still the possibility for tension but it was able to be resolved and yet it didn't you know like um exploit that as much as really what like i think a, a certain film would be like oh well this is why they imploded in the 70s because they didn't implode today and they they avoided that because i think you guys you know, yeah you guys well that took kid, a lot of right? editing no <laughs> 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 well here's the thing you know i mean if you follow any family around you're going to see that happening 24 oh, 7 yeah. Yeah. pretty much any family I, I, and um I was going to you know say the I mean? families fight, better, you know, better than anybody. You know, they're, they're really yeah, especially if you're Irish or Italian, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you know, um, I, 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 it took ten years to, in order for it to have that kind of balance because it would have just been ridiculous, and I wouldn't have been a part of it. Yes. So um, you know, and it's been great. You know, I mean, um, you know, the decision to tell that story took a long time too. You know, I, I agreed to do it because I, I found I thought it would be of help to other people and because that's the only reason to, to share something like that in my opinion mm. that that kind of that kind of history is for somebody else to tell when i'm long gone right um other you know as far as the purposefulness of it but uh it's it's really i've gotten so many emails from people i mean hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um of how how supportive of their life and kindred and 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 it it, it just kind of um connected old Calcio fans, you know, and, and just people in general, people who didn't even know who we were, just like have seen that movie and gone, wow, man, you know, I grew up in that family too. And that's, you know, and quite honestly, we're all fine. I mean, life, you know, it's what you make it, sure. you know, and, uh, I, I, I chose, um, I turned that frown upside down. Exactly. exactly. Well, for me, it was it was funny because, like, when I, you know, I've had a crush on you for over forty years. Is it? And, funny. and it was just like, and then when I saw the document, I was like, oh, I remember that girl. Oh, what she looked like? She's still hot. And then, like, I find out you're married to a drummer, and I was like, damn it, I played guitar. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Should have gone. Tommy, you know way. what? I have a club. I have a club. It's called the Five Dollar Club. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and a friend of mine, a band called the Bottle Rockets, his name's Brian Henneman, and he came up with the concept because we were having dinner one night, and I say this with all modesty, but if I had five bucks for every time a young man like yourself said something like you just said to me, I'd be rich. And my friend wow. said, Brian said, you ought, to, you ought to put that on Facebook <laughs> and just say, if you had a crush on me when I was 10 years old, send $5 to post box, you know, post office box. And 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 see what happens. That's oh. what he said. I should put on it. That's, that <laughs> so is what, perfect. What would happen is I get the five bucks. Yeah. Well, I think I think I owe you a hundred because it seems like every oh, time. Oh, bless like, your I heart. Like, oh. I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> I I've had a crush on Tommy for years, and uh, well, I was gonna say so. That's like the Kevin Bacon one. How many degrees removed? That's great. Eddie, I'm glad for you. <laughs> exactly. <All right. laughs> yeah. We're living in so living in New Orleans, like, and especially having access to Tempatina is like the. The musical influences. Do you feel like that town's like influenced you musically? I mean, it's, sure. it's got to be just from. You sure, just my my solo stuff has 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 much uh, much swamp in it. I nice. mean, you know, as much as a cow still can swamp. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, when you're born and bred to be a cow still, pulling yourself out of out of uh, the pop rock genre in any way is, is miraculous to say the least, nor would I, I mean, and it's not necessary. I, I love our music. I, I love my roots. I love my band. Yeah. Um, but definitely new Orleans is, it, it gets a uh, something in the dirt. I don't know. It, uh, it's, it's, it's a little crawfish, like, something, yeah, that's a little, little crawfish. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little mud bugging. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. I, I, uh, I love it here. There's so much soul, um, on every street corner, you know, and, and it's a love hate, you know, because it's not always easy to live in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. I can, I can so, imagine. It's a, it's a yeah. rebound town, whether you're rebounding from a relationship or like, <laughs> or the no football kidding. team losing, you can, you guys bounce back. It's, it's a tough, resilient town. It's um, a rebound town. Uh Oh, dude, if I, you see that as a song title on my next record, <laughs> please don't no, no, contact no. me, not an attorney. No, no, I'll just ask you to play. I was like, let yeah. me jam with you. I want to help play. So I, I was going to ask you, you know, you've, you've, did you, you just recently recorded a, or released a, a record, uh, the Psycho Sisters. Is that correct? 
Yes, yes that's correct. And that, and that that just came out. That's with uh, Vicky Peterson uh, as well, your, your uh, sister-in-law. Is that's that, right. That my is, sister-in-law, okay. my best friend for 25 years, and the founder of the Bangles. Wow. That is, <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah. I was going to ask you just how how did how did this is like the first is this the first record you guys have put out? It's the first and probably only. No, that's not true. We're going to have we're going to have our first record and our last record all in the same decade. Wow. Um, wow. The, the Psycho Sisters. Um, you know, we. <laughs> it's a 22 year in the making event, and uh, we started writing songs. 22 years ago, this batch of songs, which is on this album called Up on the Chair Beatrice, so go to Amazon and go buy it. <clears throat> and um, we we got together when we first met, and we were kindred in, in all ways and, and uh, embarked upon this, this songwriting thing and, and made this little band, which was just me and her on guitars. And, and we played around in L.A. for a bit, and then we met the Continental Drifters and got a little sidetracked because they had cute guys in the band. Right. <laughs> and... And we just kind of always put it on the back burner and said, okay, well, you know, eventually we'll do this. And 22 years later and, you know, I don't know how many bands and husbands and boyfriends and then she ends up marrying my brother, which is whatever with that. But um, so eventually, you know, we just never did it, never did it. And I find and we promised before either one of us became senile and or just not available because we croaked, we should make this record. And so we did it. And it just got released last May, and it's um, all the songs are 22 year old. It, you know, we we contemplated writing new material for it. You know, right? Because like I had just started writing songs back then, and then we said, you know what? No, this is we want to make the record we were gonna make, and so we did. And it's really a fabulous. It's so much fun. I you know I've, and, uh, I was sampling some tracks from it, and I I I, I really I really love the sound of it, and. You know your your voice, very distinct and and beautiful oh, yeah. sounding. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, you're very sweet. I, I and I don't say that to every guest. I just want I just want to let you know that very. No, you don't, Jake. Uh, no, we had Dave. Dave we have Dave Davies from the Kinks last week, and he didn't say anything. About I didn't say anything about his voice, but it, gorgeous, gorgeous riffs. But yeah. none thank you so much. Not nonetheless, I was going to ask you the the. The 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 cow sills uh, as it stands now. Uh, do, do you guys? Uh, I've seen you. You've, you've played uh, recently. Any plans to uh, go on the road and do any shows uh, nearby? Yes. I know you're bouncing around. <laughs> Eddie, you're very you're so cute. You're a very excitable man. Um, yes, we are. The cow sills actually. You know, we've 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 been back together. I mean, back together. You're in your family band. You never break up. Right. Whatever. We're back together. Um, we are going out next summer, or this summer, I guess it would really be, um, on the Happy Together Tour, which is the kind of the premium classic 60s rock tour. That's, that's got the been, Turtles and, and, yeah. and other groups. The Turtles, they head it up. It's Flo and Eddie, and they're right. kind of the leaders of, of, the, of the caravan. And we have been asked to be on that tour this summer, and we're really excited about that because oh, it's a really quality show, and we've got... Let's see, I think we're going out with the Grassroots, okay, Flo and Eddie, the Turtles, Grassroots, Mark Lindsay, um, us, the Association, I think. Right. Wow. And I think that's us. I think that's it. Wow. So that, we're very excited about that. Very, 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 very. Well, if, if you guys hit the, the San Francisco area, I, you, oh, will yeah. see, you will see me be we'll front be and center. Eddie and Tommy. Yeah. Exactly. I'll be wearing the glittered cloak. Yeah. I was going to say, what will you be wearing? The rock and roll glitter cloak, baby. That is it. But you know, there's something else really cool going on. That I want to, I want to let your listeners know about, and it's in, it's in New York City, um, in, in April. Evidently, it's our 50th um, anniversary of of the band getting started, which would make it, you know, 1960, um, 65, I guess. Right. Um, that's when you know it wasn't when our first hit was out, but it's when when the band really formed. And um, the Cutting Room, which is a, a venue in New York City, is having a big, giant anniversary show for us. Wow. They, they called us. They wanted to host it. They were very excited. And I think that's going to be really, I mean, I didn't know we were having an anniversary, but I'm glad they told me so wow. I could get something to wear. 
And <laughs> so that's going to be at the cutting room in April. I'm not sure the date, but it'll be on our websites and our Facebook. That's and all that. that's amazing. Any plans to uh, do a recording or a, a live? Yeah, please record that. Yeah. A live recording of that program. You know, probably, and also, you know, just for Calso fans, I, I think we. I don't think I know. I just don't know when we are. Uh, we're talking about making one last record. You know, we were going to do that back when Barry and Bill were still alive. Right. We started talking about it then, and what the concept would be was, you know, we're all individual writers now, so that each guy would bring one or two or three songs to the table, and then we'd all back each other up. You know, be each other's band. Right. On uh, and uh, that never obviously happened for whatever reasons, and now the boys are gone. But Bob and I and Paul. And probably John, if he can get a day off from the Beach Boys. Sure. Um, but my my husband Russ drums for the Castles because John has a real job with <laughs> guys who pay him real right. money. <laughs> right. But everyone, but we're going to make a last Calso record, and what we'll do is we'll just include Bill and Barry's. We'll we'll pick songs from them that we dig, and and we'll do that. So we're going to have a a one for the road. Um, coming up in next next year or two for sure. Wow, so we'll be looking for that. That's exciting. That is, and, it and, is. I, you know, and I was going to say one well, real quick. The, the you know the the the, the amount of work. That your brothers Bill and, and Barry left behind is, wow. is 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 staggering. I mean, and and I, I I your family. I mean, you included. Obviously, you probably hear it all the time. Just such tremendous talent. And I mean, you could really Aww. really release a, a box set yeah. of of material. And I would. I uh, you got one old man well, who go crazy. You'd recommend that, wouldn't yeah. you, Eddie? <laughs> I would highly recommend it. I would I would love it. And but I, I you know a new Cow Sills record that that sounds absolutely exciting. I know I know you're short on time. And I know you gotta catch a plane. Um, I, I just want to make jet setter. You, I love that. I hope you're going to somewhere sunny and nice. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Susan. I, I just want to thank you so much for being on the program, sharing your time. I'd love to have you back on for longer and and, and get deep into into the into Let's the world. Do. Let's yeah. do. I would love to. You guys are fun. Uh, they, I appreciate that. I thank you very much. And, and 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 Tommy, I'm sorry things didn't work out, babe. No, there's still time. <laughs> there's still time. I've already been married. Like Eddie's been married like three or four times. I've been married like right two or times. Like it, oh, it happens. Oh we'll meet when we're four hundred. That's <laughs> yeah. I love it. Well, well, Susan, again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for sharing your morning or afternoon Aww, with us, yes. and uh, and we wish you the best of luck, safe travels, and we'll be uh, we'll be looking out uh, for the, for these these new tracks. We'll I'm, get I'm the excited. Miata and we'll drive to New York. I, I know. I would love to do that. That would be awesome. The Eddie yeah, no, show. we will. We definitely will. And thank you guys very much. And y'all have wonderful holidays. Okay. Oh, thank you, you so much, Susan. Thank you very All right. much. Have a good have a good later. one. All righty, right. take okay, care. Bye bye. Bye bye. There it is. Susan Council of the Councils.